Right, we are gonna have a go at fitting this table that we have bought off Amazon. Other e-commerce platforms are available. Um, and it's designed for a Jeep, but a lot of people have already fitted this to the Defender. So I'm gonna have a go at fitting it with these brackets as it is, which seems okay. I've got a couple of ideas that may be different to other people. And what we will actually do is we will actually try and get some of these manufactured that are spot on exactly right so you don't have to do anything. And then you can buy this whole kit, throw these away, and we'll get some brackets. So this is our rear door, obviously, and we're gonna have a go at putting here. I'm a little bit worried about this one because it doesn't have a back. And I'm a bit worried with my, my famous culinary skills that I might set fire to the door. So um, we might have a look at something, but we'll have a go with it for starters. Um, but it doesn't cover this. That guy we were watching, what was he, what was this, what was this, I forgot, Fish 13 or something, a guy in Korea, shout out to him, yeah. he was camping, his setup was awesome, he had, he had like four 240 volt power points back here, and all his cooking stuff was all um, sort of induction hobs, wasn't it George, but we got old school, we got a little gas thing, so we'll, we'll have a go, right, enough waffling, what we got, god they love a bit of cling film on all this, don't they George, all right, very good. Not very good. No, it isn't. Single-use plastic, isn't it? Right. So that comes... Actually, look, it comes half pre-assembled, which is cool. The, the other guy was saying that this wasn't... was too long or not long enough or something, wasn't he? Too long. Too long, that's it. But aluminium. So we've just checked with a magnet. Where's our magnet, George? One magnet, look. There you go. Proof magnet. So this is all lightweight aluminium, which is cool, because one thing I don't want to do is add a lot of weight to that back door. Because um, that back door with that wheel on is heavy. Already pretty heavy. It's already pretty heavy. You've got no assistance. And I am not that strong, am I, George? <laughs> oh, son, you're being nice to me. Well, well been doing quite a lot of bricklaying. I've been doing a lot of bricklaying. Must be quite hence. I've done, done my roof now, haven't I, George? Yeah. Right, this weekend, George, if we get this video up tonight, this weekend we are at the Land Rover show at Gaydon, aren't we? If you're watching this video... Like, look at the date I uploaded it later. I won't be at the Gaydon show, so don't go rushing. Right then. And we are camping, aren't we, George? We're going to have the roof tent out, and we're going to do some more camping, so. Yeah. Right, unbox it. Brush, brush, brush. Right, we have got a load of fittings. Everyone wants to see all the fittings. Right, do you reckon... Let's test the fittings, George. Are they stainless steel? Look, this, this is all right. So we've got some rib nuts here. We like rib nuts, actually. We've got some stainless steel bolts. We got some, ah, oh, these are the end stop bits that that other guy was showing us, weren't they? So these were, you, to stop it rattling, when it goes up, they, they sort of form a stop. So keep an eye on those. These are the little, whoa, these are the little spaces that you have to fit on the hinge point here for the bracket to give a little bit of clearance. So we got those. We got some thinner washers. Bush, bush, bush. I wonder if anything goes in there. Right, what have we got? We got some washers. Right, we've got four nylocks. How many of those have we got, George? We've got different length ones there. Yeah, they look longer. We've yeah. got two long... Oh, hold on. Hold on. We've got two longer ones and six short ones. For weird combination of stuff, right? So we've got that, 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 that. Right, so I think we'll have a read of the instructions. But Right, so we've mounted... We're just working this. You're doing it with us. So you're supposed to mount it with this return flange going inwards. Um, but that means we won't be in the right place to use these original screws. So what we've done is we've used the top one here, and we've just marked with our orange pen the line we need to be to get that one in. So we'll get that drilled. But let me just show you here. So we've got the screws in this are M6, but they're Torx T T30. So you need one of these T30 driver bits. There we go. <laughs> There you go, but they're quite short. So in the kit, we did have some slightly longer ones. So we, we've we got those. Right, George has got his Allen key. Well done. Right, so we're, now it's not gonna work. I, I know that these clamps are gonna be in the wrong place, but I'm not too worried about the clamps. We can, re, we can reuse those or remount those. Again, this is really just a bit of a development video. Because if we can remake these side bits, there's no point in selling everyone a table if they've already worked out how to make them. So we're gonna have that one there. We'll mark and drill that one in a minute. 
Let's just have a look if the concept is going to work. Well, that's quite tight, isn't it, George? That one. Yeah, I tightened it up. Yeah, I found those. I found these these threads. The way they make these threads in the door is a bit dodgy. We're going to have to get a socket on that. That's quite tight. Right. Again, we're just making this up as we go along. But by putting these in backwards, and we've only put the top bolts in, we've put some slightly wider spaces in here, um, and we're we're nearly there. We just need to drill two two things. And then we've just got to work out how these closing brackets work. Well, I haven't said that, George. We're not that far off, are we? No, it, it might. Not, you know. It might. What but if you jam it? It's hitting the bolts there, but we could put them the other way around if we put the bolts on. Oh, that's effort, though. That's effort. Oh, Is teenagers. there not? No, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm a big believer in work. Oh, look, 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 look. Actually, you know, look at that alignment. Now, one thing I've noticed, George, that we've done, maybe wrong, maybe right, let's discuss, is... I've put my tray on intentionally, accidentally, upside down. See? Right? Ah. ah. But it stops things rolling off and falling off. No, we do have this and then when it's, when it's up and put away, which it will spend, it looks a lot nicer than when you have the other way around. Agreed. I would have done it that way as well. Either a mistake or on purpose. Genius or mistake. You bit, decide. Bit of both, in my opinion. Bit of both. <laughs> oh, thanks, George. Right. Um, obviously, the bolts we've used aren't pretty, but we're working. You can see where we're going. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll bolt these little, oh, oh gosh, we'll bolt these up here and we'll see how we go. Right, so we're actually doing really well. We've got it opening, we've got it closing. We've put these in here with some little spaces there. Just left one, let's have an up closer then. Beautiful. Beautiful, right. And, and you can tuck the wires inside and it all goes up. The only problem we've got now is it doesn't stay up. So I, we've got a couple of choices. We've been brainstorming here. We found these in the workshop and we could use these holes here, which are threaded, if we drilled a hole through there, we could then, we might have to get some slightly longer ones, but we can order these. Then we could just do that, and it would hold that tight in there, super black, but you're not gonna rub against those, are you, George? They're no. not gonna be. And then you could just unscrow those two, and then it's never and gonna you rattle. You barely notice them as well. And once we're done with them, we have a nice little <coughs> pot to put them in there. That's flipping genius. If we do that then. I think so, just get <laughs> the handle here, but that's perfect yeah, to yeah. put them in. Right. And you, you'll never lose them as well, because I can imagine having something like that, I was like, oh, we'll lose it. But actually, if that's there... I mean, you could have, you could thread them back in while you're doing it. Yeah, but it's, we've got a little pot there. So when we'll we'll make it up as we go along. I mean, the other thing we did have an idea was, we could take this bit here, we could open this, we could drill a hole in here, we could pull it, and that would stop it pulling through, and then we could do the old elasticification down to that. But I think we'll go for those proper screws, because that's going to look like... That's going to look like I'm an engineer, George. Right, let's go. Right, we've come up with a with a plan 24 or whatever it is. So what I've done here is I've put an, uh, a grub screw in. So the, first of all, I put a grub screw in. Let's see if I can show you the grub screw. Oh, there's, there's method in my madness. So I put a grub screw in, which has got which is a little with an M6 there, and then I've put a little connector nut on there. So this keeps everything tight. Right, and then. You can tighten that up. Now that'll stay there forever. Now this is genius. In the kit, we've got these little rubber bump stops. Now look, these actually fit like a super tight fit over there. Then what I did was I worked out where that hole hits here, coming through here, and I marked it here, as you can see with the ubiquitous orange pen. There you go. And then I cut one of these down. Little tip, if you're ever cutting a thread down, spin the nut on it first, cut it with the grinder. Then as you spin the nut off, it cleans up the thread that you might have mashed a bit. So actually I filed it, then spun the nut off. So we're now all ready to go. And so I'll do the same on the other side. Yeah, we can go in there. Look at that. And we've got rattle free now. I should have tucked that cable in there. Oh, I got, I got you, I got you. There you go. Yeah. That looks professional. We'll do the other one there. We'll get those bottom bolts in. I reckon that's as good as you can get, George. It's good, yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, we could put a little kit together. Let us know what you want. Do you want us to redesign this bracket properly, or do you want to just do it yourselves? Part of the defender thing is do it yourself. Let us know, like the video. Wow, oh, just doing the finishing touches to my my masterwork. Right then, here we go. Obviously, it's not a masterwork. Right. What have we come up with? 
Right, first of all, if you come from the side here, George, we have trimmed these brackets down because they were a lot wider. So I've cut a whole bit off here and made it sit much closer to the door. Now, this bracket, I, I cut this a bit close. If you look from the front, George, you'll notice I haven't left much. So I'm going to make some totally new brackets here with the spacings at the right spacings. I've put some spaces behind the back here so that when you tighten it up, you're not crushing the plastic. The force is going directly onto the door. So it sits a little bit proud there. We've got the spaces there. I've put the cable, instead of being on this side, I've put it on the other side because we've got quite a big gap. You can see we've got our new spacers here. You can see we've got our screws in here. So now we just unscrew these. Thank you, George. Okay, we could make them those, those a little shorter. Oh, how long are you doing it? There you go. All right, put those in our little pot. And there you have it. So you can see we've got that there. We've got the bolts in there. I think that's a pretty good job. Is it level? I don't think so. Oh, you think it's still? Now, when I make my extra brackets, because the other guy did say these were a bit long, didn't he? Yeah. What I'll do is if I extend this up a little bit, I could give you two or three holes there, couldn't I? So yeah. you could get it exactly right. Um, so that is what we will do. We will make those brackets new. We will supply some screws um, so that you can fit it. I think that's pretty neat. I think we could round this corner here. I'll see that corner there, George. We could make it match the trim, couldn't we? If you could yeah. look from the front there, I could round that. So we'll get Julian on that next week. But most important thing is we got camping. We've got a table now and we can camp and tweak and have a prod. But that's brilliant. Thanks for joining us on our little make it up as we go along adventure. Catch you later.